I'm autistic and I'm awesome. This is what is awesome. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Everyone's taking ecstasy and they just don't want to stop. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Narnia, the witch in the wardrobe. <laughs> Doesn't really ring, but <laughs> yeah, we're playing Narnia, the witch in the wardrobe, Disney uh, on DS. I've got it paused at the moment because I only played it for a few seconds of logos just to see if it didn't immediately crash on the emulator. So I know nothing about this, uh, especially since I haven't seen Narnia in a very long time. I did see the movie, but it was a very long time ago, and it was like I all I remember is that there was a lion that talked and she rode on it and shit happened. It's wardrobes and <laughs> magic worlds behind wardrobes. <laughs> That's all I remember. Oh yeah, there was also like a halfling thing there. So I'm like, yeah, I don't really remember much. Something about an ice queen. I don't know. But let's find out what happens in here. By Maze Entertainment and BVG. Yeah, you don't mean to creep me out, game. Ooh. Ooh, how pretty. It's a bit silly that this looks completely good, completely fine without the hole in the middle, because usually there'd be a, like a little bit of a clipping, um, because yeah, they're not meant to be directly connected because there's a gap in the DS, but this one actually looks fine. So I think they haven't actually made the gap in the middle. <laughs> so, yeah, the sound's a little bit glitchy. Uh, new game, I guess. I don't know what what's going to happen here. I'm just going to play this game for half an hour, see what happens. I'm going to say in 10 minute episode sections. Might end up playing it for an hour, depending on how long the animations are, how long it take to get through the game, you know. Before we get an idea of what the game's like. I like these setups, but it's kind of kind of lazy. <laughs> What's with this terrible graphics cut cutout? Oh goodness! What is this? Like an RPG? Point and click? Oh, can I move around? Yes, I can. I can move around with the control pad. Okay. What does Y do? Can I do anything? No, I cannot. Okay, let's just walk towards this wardrobe then. This is not creepy in the slightest. Okay. It's. I always think it's weird playing a 3D game like this on the DS. Whoa! <laughs> Goodness, it feels of oblivion here. Goodness gracious me. Tap the touch screen to respond. Good evening. I'm sorry if I scared you. Scared me? Oh heavens no, I was just my mind was elsewhere. If you don't mind me asking, what are you what are you? What am I? I'm a fawn. And my name is Mr. Tumnus. What are you? Some kind of dwarf? I'm not a dwarf, I'm a girl, the tallest in my class, thank you. A girl? You mean to say a human girl? A daughter of Eve? Daughter of Eve? My mum's name's Helen and I'm Lucy. I've never heard of anyone put it like that, but yes, I am certainly human. My name is Lucy. If you don't mind me asking, what is a human child doing wandering these cold woods at such a late hour? I don't rightly know. I was hiding in the wardrobe in the spare room and I found myself here. Sp spare dum? Is that somewhere in Narnia? Narnia? Is that in England? England? I don't know what you mean. All this is Narnia. This is the lamppost all the way to Ker Paverel on the Eastern Ocean. Oh my, this is not for the big wardrobe. <laughs> oh dear, now you're confusing me. This is getting rather chilly. How would you like to stop by my house for a little refreshment? I would be delighted. Aren't you? Uh, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll spend the night with a fawn. Excellent. Follow me and don't stray. I don't want you getting lost. I'm right behind you. Do I actually have to follow him? Okay. Whoa. I'm following you. Look at him doing a little jolly skip. Old stumps are easy to smash and often contain little useful goodies. Always keep your eyes open and understand. If you understand, just press the A button. Okay. Oh, I can press A to smash stuff. <laughs> I love how she just kicks it like, Ugh, I'm having a bad day. 
and apples come from the sky when I kick it, kick it, which makes absolutely no sense. Wild animals, oh fudge, that's scary. Aren't you gonna tell me something? Like, oh, hello, Mr. Beaver, kick. <laughs> oh, can I not kick you? Oh, I, I, I can. I can punch him. This is really weird. Some kind of point and click like, RPG thingy? This is very odd. I'm coming, I'm coming. Miss Lucy, how's your aim? I don't know, decent I suppose. Why? Should we get separated? I want to be sure you know how to defend yourself. Try hurling a snowball at that statue there by pressing the X button. I'd love to, it's not often I get permission to throw snowballs. Uh, here's a... Ah, it's the S button, okay. Okay, I'm getting the controls right. Ah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, okay, I just didn't say anything, but I presume I just have to throw the snowballs and get through here. Oh, what's this? While wandering the woods, Lucy, be on the lookout for ice shards. They are quite valuable and can be traded for many items. If you understand the value of ice shards, press the A button. It may seem strange, but ice is one of our only sources of clean water in a land frozen by magic. Good water is scarce. I see. Thank you, Mr. Tumnus. Yeah, I go click it. Hey. Sometimes I have to click it, sometimes I just press A, so... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Slippy! <laughs> okay, so this is the currency. And that re that sound does my uh, ears in. I was going to say, does my eyes in. <laughs> His face does my eyes in. Shush, tread lightly, Lucy. This sleeping bear is a friend of mine, but he could become quite irate if you disturb him. I wouldn't dream of disturbing him. Rather odd, he hasn't been found a den to hibernate in, don't you think? I'm afraid I don't understand much of all that bears. Money. Money, money, money. I got love in my money. <laughs> Our trip is about to stretch a little longer. What are they? Can we handle them? These have thorns. Much too dangerous to attempt to pass. We'll have to find another way around. It's getting worrisome. I do hope I get home in time for supper. <laughs> Whoa. Fudge. This is a dangerous world you live in, Mr. Thornton. I mean, Mr. Fawn Guy. Faw Fawnton. Fawnton. <laughs> Mr. Fawnton. Ah, oh, I wish his name was Mr. Fawnton. Drat, these blocking trees are a nuisance. We'll have to be nimble. Are they dangerous? No, they do have an irritating curiosity. Watch carefully and follow my lead. After you. You just walked straight... You just walked straight through it. How is that? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that's meant to teach me, but okay. <laughs> this is the strangest thing. I'm gonna kick this tree trunk. How dare you be alive! <laughs> Manny. I'm just gonna kick. Yeah. <laughs> nom nom nom. These are strange graphics. This is one grumpy little girl. <laughs> Kick all the tree stumps. Oh, you want to get past here? Okay, hang on. Gotcha. Right. Look at that! A snow swirl! Be careful around those, Lucy. Why, isn't it just a bunch of wind? It might appear harmless, but the force of these winds is enough to knock you down. If you understand this danger, press the A button. Okay. You just walked straight into it and destroyed it. What? Why is it not explaining this? <laughs> Wait a minute, Mr. Thornton. Wait. I'm just a little girl. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no, I want to kick this tree. Get out of my way. Whew. I'm going to go through here? No. Just this way. Okay. Thornton, where'd you go? Ah, he's over here. Okay. I'm just going to kick all these trees and collect whatever this is over and over again. I don't know where this is. Look at her little stroppy face down there. The bottom screen. Money. I got all the water in the world. I'm not giving it to anyone. <laughs> uh, okay, not this way. Oh, there he is. Ah, it's his house. I presume this place is safe. Oh. I like this art style, even though it's really weird. I kind of I like it. I like it. Hey, dude. 
Here we are. Something to wet your whistle. Now then, how about a song? I never liked the phrase, wet your whistle. It just sounds really wrong. <laughs> I don't sing very well, I'm afraid. Not to worry, I was just talking about me. I've quite taken to singing and dancing ever since this dreadful winter fell upon us. Singing cheers me up. Dreadful, but winters are lovely. Snowball fights, icicles, sledding. Years or so, I might have agreed. But this winter hasn't uh, thawed for over 100 years. 100 years? How is that possible? Life is too short to dwell on such melancholy matters. Lucy, take a seat. It's a time for a song. A hero's tale. Wonderful. I'd love to hear your song. This one tells of the days before winter had taken hold of Narnia and a young fawn named Tumnus was eager for an adventure. An adventure song about you? I would love to hear your song. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Tumnus. Not at all, Miss Lucy. Why don't you rest your head as I tell my tale? Yawn. And I have a weird 3D picture of her, the girl, and now I'm... Oh, I actually get to play the tale. Hold there, little fawn. What do you think you're doing, prancing around the sovereign territory of the dwarfs? Only one wandering to and fro, hoping to find some adventure, or else let it find me. It seems it just has. Only you're not the sort of capable of surviving what danger look may have I. Dangerous here? Demasted. Do tell, Mr. Dwarf. I'm not some skittish fawn who runs up the sides of a small house. Small mouse. <laughs> small house. <laughs> Haha, I suppose we'll soon see about that, for this mountain pass leads to one of the hidden troves. A trove? Full of what? Gold? Jewels? Aye, a small hidden cave full of our finest treasures and now giant rats elsewhere littering the path between here and there. Oh, posh. I think I'll have to look myself. In fact, I'll wager I reach the cave before you. A fawn best dwarf at mountaineering? Now that is something I'd love to see. You soon will, Master Dwarf. Goodbye. Oh, I actually have to race him. Okay. Whoa, ah! Ha <laughs> just kick him one! <laughs> Beating up rats! <laughs> oh, the wonderful world of Narnia! The wonderful world of Narnia! It's so beautiful, wintry magic! <laughs> I don't know what the song is of Narnia, but... Narnia, Narnia, talking lions and beating up rats. Narnia, Narnia, eating pears that fall from the sky. Narnia, Narnia, I'm still collecting ice even though it's before the ice. Narnia, Narnia. Uh, how do I get through here? I don't know, this way. Kick the rats! I seem to have no visible health, so I presume I can't die. I don't know. And what's with this random RPG music? This is strangely interesting, this game. All these games are really strange, interesting finds. <laughs> Just kick that rat! Kick that rat in the bum! Ben, the two of us need look no more. <laughs> we both found what we are looking for. <laughs> ben, if you ever look behind and don't like what you find, maybe you'll see there's a fawn going to kick you in the knee. <laughs> Oh, I see! Okay, okay. This is so odd! Well, thank you for watching. I'm gonna end the first episode here. Thank you! This was what's awesome. I'll see you again next time where I'm gonna find out where this game continues to go through these thorns. See ya! <laughs>